Hey, having a good e-signature tool in your tech stack is critical, not just for your sales team, but also for internal operations. So today, we're going to take a look at this new product called Doc Sketch. So stay tuned for this one. Hey everybody, this is David with Tech Smart Boss here with another video. Today I'm going to take a look at this product called DocSketch, DocSketch.com. It's an e-signature tool and you know I'm, I'm really big on these e-signature tools. If you go back and listen to episode 81 of the podcast, I talk about why you should be leveraging these in your business and, and I've, I currently use PandaDoc but I really like this product DocSketch. It does everything that I need, but I will say it's it's early stage. So so this is something you're going to see as I log in and set up an account. It's an early stage product. They do have a free option, so that's great, and it's very affordable on the pro side. So uh, let's take a look. I'm going to actually sign in, and I'm going to create a brand new account. So it says don't have an account. Let's sign up for an account. Now, of course, you can use your Google to sign up you know me I like to register with a password instead so I'm gonna go ahead and put in my techsmartboss.com email and give it a password here and let's take a look behind the scenes so as I mentioned this is an early stage product it's, it's fully functional in its core use case but they've got to add a lot more of the bells and whistles to compare to a product like PandaDoc but you know the, the founder behind DocSketch is the same company uh, that did bid sketch if you're familiar with that but pr pretty simple setup you've got your, your documents you can set up templates you can uh, send them out to contacts and get signature and what I'm going to do here is I'm going to set up a brand new template and uh, email it to myself so you can kind of see the workflow on how your user is going to going to interact with this product now I've got a template here standard non-disclosure agreement and take a look at this I built this in though uh, in, in, in a word document here and you'll see I've got the standard little underlines where uh, your, your, your company would fill them out and then you've got your signature block here so pretty pretty standard type of, of non-disclosure where you've got to fill out some of the information your 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 partner or your customer has to fill them out so I'm gonna say create a new template I'm gonna upload that file it's on my desktop let me go ahead and find that there it is and this is one of the things that I really like about this product is it has those it has like an underline or a form field detection where it's gonna make it really easy for me to build this template the other thing I like about this is if I did have a multi document signature package you'll see it's converting this word document now you can upload word PDF image files all sorts of things but you'll notice here I can also add another document so you might have, if, as you're building your sales package, a couple different documents and you want them to sign them all in one, one package, you can do that here, which, which is really nice. I'm just going to do this one document and say continue. And then it wants to know, you know who's going to sign this. So I'm going to sign it, and I'm going to say my partner is going to sign it. So you're not putting in the real names. This is a template we're setting up. And I can add additional signers on this as well. Let's go ahead and save that. Now, once it brings that in, you'll notice that there's some blinking blue lines here. It actually detected my underlines. If I go down to the bottom, you'll see that. Look at that. That's pretty cool. I like that. And the other benefit, it's not just, I mean, you know where your, your form fields are. You'll see here suggested fields. But the other benefit I see of this is as I drag these fields over, it kind of fills into that underlying space. So watch this. This is going to be a date field. And you'll see you've got checkbox, initials, date, signature. Like I said, basic stuff now, the key things you need, they're going to enhance that, I'm sure. I can just drag that over there and then look at that. It, it filled the whole line section. And then I can say who I want to sign that, if it's required or not. And I can set my format and do some things like that. So pretty, pretty cool. I like that. All right, let's say this is going to be a, a text field. Let's go ahead and pop that in there. And I want to say what this is. So I'm going to say company name. Oops, I got my caps lock on. Now you'll see that fields in there. Let's put this here. And I'll say this is my state of incorporation. So just basic stuff. I'm going to skip down to the bottom and let's do the signature line. So I won't do any more text fields, but you'll see here I could do all those sorts of cool things. Let's put a signature field. 
So this will be where I sign. So instead of partner, I'm going to make this the document sender. And then this would be where the other party would sign. And I'm going to make that the partner. So pretty simple. I mean, you, you really can't get much easier than that. This is it's really simple. So this is not going to be the tool that allows you to kind of build the proposal from scratch using blocks, drag and drop. I know PandaDoc and a lot of them have that now. I personally don't like that. I have all my agreements in PDF or Word. That's where I maintain them. You still do have some people that force a paper process. So I like this method where I just upload that as a template and, and then put in the, the, the signature and the, and the text blocks that need to be filled in. So let's go ahead and finish this template. So now that I've got a template, I can go over here to documents and create a new document and use that. Actually, if I go to templates, you'll see the little icon here for use. So you could you could you could start to build a signing process here from a template or you could build one from scratch. Now, before we do that, let's take a, a look at a couple things. One really important thing is you'll see this right here. Mute doc sketch branding. Now, that's something that they just came out It's new. It's really useful. I'm, I'm assuming it's going to be in their paid plan. Um, so I'm going to turn this on. Let's see, okay, yeah, you see how it's in the paid plan. So I'll show you what that looks like in the free plan. But just have um, keep in your mind that all that doc sketch branding you're going to see in these free emails go away once you're paid, and you can turn that on. And you can kind of see you can invite other team members, and you can also so very simple back end. As I said, they're going to add a lot to this stuff over time. So let's go ahead and use this template, and now. I could even add to the template if I wanted to. So if I had a specific addendum that I need to add to my standard contract, I could do that really easy, even while using a template. All right, so it's asking me for the partner. I'm just going to say, I'm just not, not even going to put a real name in here because what I'm going to do is use my support at techsmartboss.com alias. So I'm going to send it basically to the same mailbox. And then you'll see that myself is pre-filled in as the document sender. So I got the document sender and the partner. And if you remember, when we set that template up, we said who needs to fill out what. So that's that's pretty important. Let's go ahead and continue. It's going to give me a chance. Now, I can't, you know, I could, I could make some touch-ups here if I had to. I don't need to in this case. If I wanted to go in and fill out some of these others, I could. But we're going to keep it simple like this. And let's send it. And as I send it, I've got a couple things I could do. I could, you know, make a nice message. I'll just put some more stuff in here. You'll see some formatting, basic formatting that you can do. I'll just put a little bold on that. I could CC to other people. I could force a sending order, which could be useful, uh, a signing order. And they also have where if you didn't want signatures, but you just want to track someone watch, looking at a document, verify that they viewed your, your presentation or something like that, you can send it as a sales document. So that doesn't do the signature process. And so they're, they're doing two different kind of use cases here, which is, which is uh, kind of neat. All right, let's go ahead and send this. And once I send this, it's going to come back and tell me that my document has been sent telling me who I sent it out to, and not, not a lot I could do there yet. Let's go check out the email. You see I've got two new emails here. Now I'm going to get the email from probably both sides of the equation, from not only the um, myself, but also to the support alias, assuming I'm getting my support emails. This is just when I signed up for the account here. Let's take a look at this email here. Please complete. I didn't change this, the, 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 the subject line or anything. And you'll see that, which one did this go out to? Okay, this one went out to me, and it says review and complete this document. Gives me a little thumbnails of the document here. You'll see the branding. That's what I was describing. If you are in a paid account, a lot of this branding goes away. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this view and complete document, and I'm going to right-click on it and open it up in a private window, just so you can see that you don't need to have an account. You don't need to log in to sign these documents. It's really nice. I don't want my customers having to create accounts in order to e-sign something. So I'm going to open this up in a, in a private window, and you'll see that it takes me into a, a, a nice environment where I can click to start to sign. Now, I set myself up to only have to sign one place in this document. So what, what it's going to do is going to take me all the way down to where I have to do that signature, and I can click and sign that. And for now, they just give you a couple of cursive signatures. They give you the ability to draw your signature, which I, I'm never good at. You know, holding the mouse down, I'm just going to put, put a big old X 
on that you know they're going to do the ability to upload a, a signature or things like that so so you could do either way for now i'm just going to go ahead and put that right there and you'll see it puts it there i got a check mark save and finish and then again this branding does not appear when you are in a paid account where it says sign up for a free doc sketch account so that's what you if you're free you know they got to get some benefit from you too now this document is in a pending status because the other party at that point has a sign. So you can kind of see the workflow. It's really, really easy to do. Um, I did not, evidently I'm not getting my support mails the way I thought to my mailbox. So I gotta go back and research that. But that gives you an idea of how easy this software is to use. And if I come back over here, let's see if it updates any of that status. You'll see now it's pending. So it's pending because the other party has assigned that. And if I click into this, even though I can't modify it, you'll see the documents completed can no longer be changed. I can do things like resend, and I'm sure they're going to start to build in some logic to be able to resend that as well. So I probably spelled something wrong there. Yeah, it looks good. But I'll resend it just to see what happens on that side. Um, all right. So that's the process and now to complete that all the way through once both parties sign that document then a completed document is emailed out to both parties and you can download it as a pdf and some of the things that they've got to do i mean they, they're, they're tracking on the back end all the ip and the e-signature legal stuff um so you know these things are enforceable in the majority of countries in the world these days and they're, they're tracking all that and they have a statement on their website about that but what they're going to do is they're going to um, bring a lot of that audit trail information into the front end so you can have it right here with your document versus uh, the need for you to contact their support team. So as I said, this is a, a new product, um, brand new, um, and I like it. I like it. I mean, what they have today is is all I need to replace the way I use PandaDoc, and I would encourage you to go out and listen to episode 81 of the podcast. Just search TechSmart Boss in any of your podcast players. You can find that. All right, I'm going to wrap this one up. If you do have any questions, uh, hey, hit me at david at techsmartboss.com. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. We put out a new, uh, new video each week. And also check out our Facebook page and see all the cool stuff we're doing out there. I'll talk to you in the next video.